Wish me luck. That huge disc in the distance. Hold on. Is that the fantastic compass? What? That's the best description you can come up with? It's way, way bigger than that! <sighs> well, it seems our theory checked out. In my humble legal opinion, that's almost certainly the magical device I've been looking for. It really showed up. But if this really is the Fantastic Compass, it's so huge! How the heck am I gonna lug that back to my office? <clears throat> I mean, come on, Yenfei. Don't give up now. Let's investigate the area first. <gasps> what the... Where the... They look familiar. Oh, yeah. I bumped into these rapscallions a few days ago. Motion to compel! There's a smaller... <sighs> Easy peasy. Just like last time. You know, when I ran into them before, I was working on a big commercial case. The defendant hired them to attack me, just to get back at me. Happens all the time. Luckily, I'm well trained in martial arts, so taking them down was a piece of cake. But these are the exact same guys as I met last time. Is this space recreating scenes from my memory? Maybe this is one of the ways our adversary intends to devour us. Unbelievable. <laughs> huh? Anyone? 
entrance. Great. Another world, or maybe another time. I thought we might run into some other people here, but apparently not. The Fatui? Whose memory is this? Just as I thought. Elon, you're here. I will take you down no matter how many times you show up. Hey, relax. Motion to compel. Have a load of dead flash frost. Gotcha. <laughs> it's time for a yeah. flash Incinerate. Yeah. Yeah. And still they dare to come after me. <laughs> You've still got it. Remember how I said I'd seen some illusions myself? Those were the same words I heard last time. The space seems to be reproducing that memory. Now that you know, at least we're all on the same page. He said the word fantastic. Was he talking about the fantastic compass? Yenfei. See that thing on the ground? Yeah, we tinkered with it. That's how we met up with you. I guess it's a miniature version of the fantastic compass in the distance. It has a close connection to the entire space. Hmm. It looks somewhat familiar.
everywhere within this space follows the same rules, there must be another small fantastic compass somewhere around here. Osatius, I can't believe someone like you would end up as a lost soul underground. No enemies. Hold on. Wait, is the enemy hiding itself? Oh no, we should go help him. Stay back! This is my fight. Do not come near me. Filthy monsters! So many people have died at your hands! I lured you here to this underground space because I found your weakness. Hiding and ambushing from the dark is Bosatius' signature tactic. Die here with me! Huh? Ugh. How did a valiant warrior like you die here? No matter. I know how this ends. <sighs> Look! Osatius is showing signs of fatigue! Osatius, Marshal Retress, even your strength is finite. But your illusion is not as mighty as you. This is not you in all your glory. I wonder what Rex Lapis would think if he saw what had become of the first Yaksha. Lee, I'll deal with the rest. We can't let the monsters get to the surface. Everyone, remember, we must hold the line at 60 miles outside the chasm at all costs. Be gone! Shell, are you okay? This is my purpose. So your invisible opponent was the legendary Bosatius, Marshal Vitris? Yes. So excuse my stubbornness. Bosatius has been missing for centuries. This may have been the last time I will ever see him. He was saying something about holding the line at all costs. He fought here. The nameless Yaksha from the legends. It was him. But didn't you say he'd always announce his name? How could his name be lost to time? What happened? <sighs> I don't know. Maybe he forgot who he was. Because the karma you spoke of drove him to madness? Bosatius had already gone mad before he disappeared. There was no way of knowing if his memories were intact. He still took part in the Battle of the Chasm despite having gone mad? We Yakshas are not a race that thrive in peacetime. It's likely that he was drawn by the scent of bloody war. Slaughter is what we do best. Maybe it's the only thing we know. This battle confirmed my suspicions. As we had speculated, this space reflects information from people's minds. In other words, despite going mad, Bosatius came here. The illusion we saw just now is the impression he left behind. This space recreated him as he was during the battle. The way he fought was so self-destructive. He couldn't possibly have survived. Bosatius' illusion said he'd discovered the monster's weakness and lured them underground. What kind of place could this be? Defeating Conria's monsters is no small feat, that's for sure. Guys, it could just be me, but... I 
think I'm suddenly feeling more tired than I was. This space is really starting to affect us. I believe Vosatia stayed here underground. But now he is gone, and only his illusion remains. If we don't leave, we may meet the same fate. Time to move on. You fought well, Bosatius. Goodbye. some information here. Okay, let's see. Hmm. It looks like these were letters written by the Millilith soldiers who stayed here. So, who's this Boyan they mentioned? Boyang was one of my ancestors, the one who didn't make it back. You mean Boyang fought alongside Bosatius? I believe so. And the Millilith soldiers were their brothers in arms. I guess now we have a pretty good idea of where everyone that went missing ended up. Yes. What happened? Come on, let's not stay here. I have a gut feeling that sooner or later we'll connect all the dots. And then, we'll finally know the truth. Still, who knows how this space is planning on revealing the answer to us.
Ada Creek it has the feel of the abyss, but where are the opponents? Hmm. Your memory of the abyss? So this place is created purely based on your memory? Getting darker. <gasps> it's it's Lumine, wait. shiny round thing on the ground the fantastic compass in the other spaces the fantastic compass was always partially buried in the ground but this one is lying flat intact as if somebody left it here She was just a figment of your imagination? So, she appeared as an illusion because you miss her so much, huh? Yenfei, are you sure this is the fantastic compass you're looking for? I think so. There were no pictures in the will, but based on the description, it seems to check out. Yelon, what is it? From the design and build, this fantastic compass looks extremely similar to the catalysts used by my clan. I just need to do this, and... Hm. Someone's used this before. There may be a hidden message inside. Let's get out of here and find somewhere safer. All right, here we'll be fine. Take a moment to catch your breath while I try to unlock the fantastic compass. Within yin and yang, among the five regions, water, fire, wind, and thunder cycle like the seasons. Grasp the seven heavens from the ground. Open wide the three gates. All the worlds within reach. Well, well. This is not what I was expecting. Oh! Seems like 
Mark has made a new discovery. This information was left by a thaumaturge called Boyan, who, as you know, is the missing ancestor that I came here to investigate. All this information... it was left by your ancestor? Hundreds of years ago, two of my ancestors, brothers, were gifted the Fantastic Compass by someone of great importance. They brought this device to the chasm and joined the war against the monsters of Conria. They set out together, but only one of them made it back. Minus his sanity. Karma. <laughs> Correct. One possibility is that when they fought alongside Bosatius, they were tainted by his karma. Neither of them had visions, so they wouldn't have been able to resist its effects for very long. From reading through this, it sounds like Boyang ended up staying here for good too. This is just wonderful. So, that's it. There's no way out. What do we do? Are we gonna die here? The Thaima doesn't wanna die! Thaima's had enough of this place! Let me out! I just had a thought. Give me a second. I just need to double check. I just realized something. Okay, so on my way here, I was studying the will the whole time. But I didn't give any thought to the book that the will was inside of. I don't know it verbatim, but I have read it before. The gist of the story goes like this. Millennia ago, an Adeptus made a magic device to seal away evil monsters. Later, he made good friends with a human, and a few years later, great demons haunted the mountains. The mortal and the Adeptus joined forces to exorcise them using the same device. And that's not all. The book also says this. 
When mortal and adepti powers are combined, one can move the heavens and shake the earth. This contraption is proof that mortals and adepti may coexist, that there is unity between heaven and humanity. I have both adepti and human lineage. Maybe my power can work. It worked! I mean, the effect only lasted an instant because I'm not strong enough, but still, we must be on the right track. And look, something seems to have been activated inside the Fantastic Compass. By heaven's might and the gods of the five regions, Yaksha and mortal together take this contraption in hand. That's their voices from when they made the seal. Rosatius and my ancestor. They sealed off this space at the top, together. Hmm. I see. It makes sense now. Everyone, let's go back and meet up with Ito and Shinobu. I have a suggestion to make. Paimon can barely move anymore. Oh, why can't we get out of here? Paimon doesn't want to die. Paimon wants to stay with you. Paimon, just hang in there, okay? Trust me, there's still hope. Let's go. Shinobu, Ito, we're back! He must be exhausted, because he still hasn't woken up yet. But he's not in any serious danger, so don't worry. What about you guys? You found something, didn't you? It's written on your faces. But whatever it is, it's bad news, isn't it? We found the Fantastic Compass. The previous owner left a message inside, and from the looks of it, there really is no way out of this space after all. It seems like the previous owner was stuck here forever, too. <sighs> Shoot! This isn't over yet. Listen to me. Just now, I tried channeling my power into the Fantastic Compass, and it responded. But all that did was activate the records from when the seal was created. Right, but the issue wasn't with the compass, it was with the method. Remember what the book says? When mortal and adepti powers are combined, one can move the heavens and shake the earth. Only when a mortal and an adeptus combine their powers can the fantastic compass be fully activated.